Welcome to Tales from the Flipside. This is your Pro Spec 10 list. Let's go ahead and get this party started. So at number 10, we have the Incredible Hulk Wizard Ace Edition. This reprints Hulk 181, with 181 being completely out of reach now for a lot of people. This is a great alternative. The teenager in me loves these uh, these Ace Editions by Wizard, right? You know, this this takes me back to when when comics were were uh, were new and fresh. Um, in order to get these, right, uh, you had to buy Wizard magazine to start, and then you had to mail away with a check into the mail to in order to get one of these things. There's a lot of really cool books that they've reprinted in this fashion. You know, this this might be the first one on this list, but my guess is it's probably not the last one. And it's not it's not a bad buy for twenty five bucks. At number nine, we have Captain America number seven, second print. Ben, what's up with this book? You know, I was actually completely ignorant that this book existed. Um, I was uh, looking around online the other day. I remember re reading this, uh, the first print. So this is the Daughters of Liberty, right? Several female Marvel characters who formed a team. Um, and then this second print came out, relatively low print run, featuring them on the cover. You know, there's not a tremendous amount of spec value behind this, but but these characters are all are all really important. And it's a book, if you hunt uh, right now, you can find relatively cheaply. Do not, and I repeat, do not pay the eBay prices. It's out there at cover. So go, go hunt for it. But a really cool book um, that excited me and uh, one that might have some legs in the future. For number eight, we have Hulk number nine, the Art Adams cover. Steve, what's going on with this book? Well, if you like A-Force, then you should love the Lady Liberators. Um, this is one of their few covers. And we're likely to see the Lady Liberators uh, before we see A-Force in the MCU. You know, with the She-Hulk series coming, uh, She-Hulk uh, leads uh, this version of the uh, Lady Liberators. Over the years, this group has included Scarlet Witch, Wasp, Black Widow, Hellcat, Storm. I mean, you name a female marvel character and and she's been in the lady liberators uh at one time or another another reason i love this book is art adams i know we have uh, some art adams fans here i mean i i love when he first came on the scene in the 80s and and i mean this this is what he does at his best just the the the, the amount of detail and the group shots um he, he's a master so this was a split 50 50 regular cover with a frank cho um, the, uh, print run on this was, uh, close to 90,000. So if you split it 50, 50, maybe you've got, you know, a uh, le little less than 50,000 out there. Uh, but for comparison purposes, you know, I always like to do the comparison the next month, final crisis seven shipped, and that had over a hundred thousand copies. And you can see what final crisis seven is doing right now. Two other interesting facts. This is actually, a an homage cover to the first labor lady liberators that appeared in avengers 83 one other interesting fact is that there is a 399 price variant newsstand price variant of this book and there is also we have proof that there is a cgc 9.8 of, of the newsstand price variant out there at least one in the census i know it's hard to look as far as ahead as, as She-Hulk, uh, but you know, if you do your digging now, it'll it'll pay dividends uh, whenever they have that scheduled. So that's two badass Marvel female superhero teams in a row. That's amazing. Oh yeah, I've definitely hunted for this book in back issue bins. You can still find them for like four bucks. Like it's not an expensive buy in at all. At number seven, we have salt and pepper here. Salt and pepper here. Push it real good. I mean, all right. We have <laughs> Ultimate Two, issue number one, hip hop cover from 2016. 150 percent qualifier of ordering a cover of Ultimates Two number one for your totals for Ultimates number eight. So good luck on that math. So if your Ultimates 2 number 8 didn't really sell all that well in the store, they were going to really make you eat a bunch of copies just to be able to unlock the ordering ability to order as many of these as you wanted. And this is something that we've talked about before with a lot of these theme variants that go on for a while. 
as you know, this is not the first wave of hip hop variants. This is somewhere, I think, in the middle of the second, almost the third wave. Yeah, fatigue. Uh, there's a lot of stores that are like, yeah, we're not ordering that. Uh, same with, you know, some of the other ones like, you know, action figure variants and such. But some of the more popular titles had some really good artwork to, that went a, a, along with them. But the Ultimates 2, uh, Salt and Pepper Homage, uh, may have been one book that might not have been heavily ordered. So I, I think it's a good hunt for the people to go into the back issue bins and try to find these things. <laughs> good luck as far as high grade as well, because this is, of course, in the peak of Marvel's very cheap paper. And uh, lots of ink rub and lots of color breaks on tough black covers. Yeah, and we should also touch on just the characters on the cover. So Monica Rambeau as Spectrum. Um, she hasn't appeared on a ton of covers as that character. We have America Chavez. We know how hot she is. And then Captain Marvel. So, you know, a, a nice trio of uh, powerful females, which end up being a trend in this list without any of us knowing it so <laughs> for number six we have spider-man one the new stand edition ben what's going on with this book anybody watching the show is familiar with this book you know this book had a very very large print run north of a million i don't know the exact number but it, it was huge at the time uh, broke all records. The newsstand um, came poly bagged, but this particular comic can be had for ten dollars, fifteen dollars, relatively cheap. And I think as people and as this hobby has evolved, we've seen people chase big, important books. This one um, is one of the most homaged covers in history, if not number one, certainly two or three, arguably. Uh, this is a really smart pickup for a relatively cheap price um i expect these to get gobbled up but but right now you know you can find these listed for twenty dollars or less just a clever pickup um for a really important book from the 90s at number five we have captain america number 14 ben what's happening with this book you know this run by brew baker was in my opinion one arguably one of the one of the better runs um from the 90s from anything that came out of marvel I absolutely loved it. Um, this book is important for a couple of reasons. Um, the first, namely, it's when Bucky and Sam meet for the first time, right? Falcon and the Winter Soldier just started. You know, it's looking to be an exceptionally well done show. You know, this book ought to um, appreciate and value as that show moves forward. Um, and the cover on top of that is just a classic Captain America style cover. Um, just a really beautiful book that's not only attractive on the outside, but has something in the guts on the inside with, uh, with, with, with Bucky and, and Sam meeting for the first time. So, you know, book that I think you can grab relatively cheaply, maybe not necessarily on eBay, but I think these are hanging around uh, your LCSs for, for 10 or 15 bucks. This one reminds me of, of Wonder Woman 184 Hughes that, that mashup of the modern and the classic, and also I think the symmetry of um, Cap on one side and, and and Bucky the Winter Soldier on the other, just it's just beautiful. I, I just I just have a thing for for covers like that uh, that are executed well, and and this is just masterful, masterful. For number four, we have Captain America number two ninety Ultra. What's going on with this book? Oh, well, we have uh, the first appearance of Mother, <laughs> what do they call her? They call her Mother Superior in this thing. Mother Superior is actually Red Skull's daughter. <laughs> so it, it's not, it should be Daughter Superior, I think it would be a little bit more fitting. However, uh, Mother Superior is, of course, who we eventually will see transform into a different character. She does play a pivotal point uh, for many many issues of different captain america books but uh, sometimes playing on different roles this issue is very interesting because well there's a canadian price variant i believe canadian newsstand there's going to be a direct and there's going to be a newsstand variant so you're going to have all all those to chase i've not checked to see if there's a mark jeweler uh there, there, there is okay there so is. quite possibly <laughs> that yeah. you should be on the hunt for that as well so all those different versions of this book uh, with a first appearance and it obviously have all the the you know the right ingredients for for baking obviously a, a good good spec in my opinion 
she may be appearing. This is this is the spec play people have on this. They they're betting on uh, Red Skull's daughter showing up uh, elsewhere outside of the pages. So we'll see if that's that's yet to come true. But this is only part one, I think, of a uh, a spec play because I believe there might be another book related to this one that made our list. And at number three, we have Captain America number six twelve, the Tron variant. Ah, well, like I was saying, this is the issue that I was referring to. Red Skull's daughter does eventually become Sister Sin. This is where that transformation happens. This is the Tron variant, so this is the 1 in 15 incentive. The cover is done by Mark Brooks, so the artwork is fantastic, and there's no arguments there. I don't know if it's still a very easily accessible book uh, through your back issue bins, because... The, the this Tron set has gotten popular. Great stuff. And at number two, we have Sam Wilson, Captain America, number six. Ben, what's going on with this book? Yeah, so this this book is the arguably the first full appearance of Joaquin Torres as um, Falcon. Now, there are a lot of books to spec on if you like this character. Um, we just saw this character in the first episode of uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, he played a fairly prominent role, was a very captivating character. Just to recap, um, there are, like I said, there's a lot of ways to spec this character. I believe his very first cameo was actually in issue number one of the series. We see him arguably for the first time in issue number three. Uh, it still feels like a cameo, but there's there's a full it's a full sort of um, panel of him. Issue number five of this, he's on the cover listed as um, the new Falcon, even though he doesn't appear in the guts as Falcon. And then there's this book where it's his first full appearance as Falcon. If he becomes part of the Young Avengers in the MCU. Um, then I, I would expect these books to hold their value and and to really exceed them. The, this series was not high printed. The print orders on these were less than forty thousand in in sort of the three, four, five, six range. So probably a smart pickup. I would hunt for it. Um, I think this book is tr is selling fairly aggressively on eBay at the moment in the forty to fifty dollar range. I think if you go out there on a hunt, you can find it cheaper in back issues, but it's going to take some work. And for our number one book this week, we have Black Widow, number one, from 1999. Yelena Belova um, is going to be a big part of, of the MCU going forward, right? MCU needs a Black Widow. Scarlett Johansson, um, she was super important to what they built um, up until Endgame. And Yelena Belova um, is likely to take over that mantle. She's already... Um, been seen being filmed in the Hawkeye episode. There's rumors, I don't know if sure, sure if it's true, that she's supposed to be in Falcon in the Winter Soldier. This version, cover A, is relatively cheap right now. Um, I've seen it for less than $20 on eBay. Um, there's a couple of different ways to play this book. Um, this is Yelena's first full appearance. Cover B is she's featured fully on the cover. There's a Dynamic Forces book where she's also on the cover. This book, she's not on the cover, but as you can see here, she's on the back. And um, if you're looking to pick up um, her first full at, at a discount or at a value, I would suggest grabbing this, this book right here. Uh, like I said, it's out there for, for $20, $30, which is um, you know half the price of the cover B. It seems like a smart pickup for a character that's going to play um, arguably a big role in the MCU going forward. Um, so in my opinion, um, a really savvy pickup at, at a cheap price right now. All right. Well, that was our Prospect 10 list for this week. Thank you for joining us. Make sure to catch Comic Book Women tonight, and I'll see you next week.